Hello. The second film we shall deal with is Atanarjot, the Fast Runner, by Zakarios Kunuk, shot in 2001. In many respects, Atanarjot, the Fast Runner, is an outstanding film, as it was written, produced, and directed by the Inuit of Canada with an Inuit cast. Besides, this is the first film shot in Inuktitut, the language of the Inuit people who live within the Arctic Circle. If Nanook of the North represents the Western view of the North, the film Atanarjot, the Fast Runner, appears worthy and bright example of capturing culture from the inside, how the Inuit people see themselves. The film has a plot which is built around an ancient story of a man who escaped from danger fleeing naked through limitless frozen Arctic plain, leaping across the icy waters. Зло пришло к нам как смерть. Что дано того не миновать? Мы научились с ним мириться. The opening shots are like flashes that take the viewers back to the past when the evil penetrated into Inuit community. These shots are very vague. It seems that the viewers are watching the middle of a drama, but they don't know when it began, or the reason why. Who are the people involved? The second shot brings in a poor old man who is cast out from the camp, and he is dreaming that his two little sons will grow and will become strong and will be able to make things right, make their family rich and wealthy. They will have more food on the table, more oil for the seal oil lamps, so that their house is warm and they have new clothes from the animals they are catching. The elder son's name is Amakwak, the strong one. His younger brother's name is Atanajuat, the fast runner. Опять плохой день выдался. Я сломал свою нож о камень. До чего же я устал? Когда мои сыновья вырастут, никто больше не посмеет меня унижать. Flash forward a couple of decades. Tuli Mark's sons, Amakwak and Atanarjuat, are now young men, excellent and generous hunters. Atanarjuat, пойдем. Amakjat. Он слишком тяжелый. Недаром мать велела, чтоб я про тебя не забывал. The conflict between the good and the evil is expressed through the conflict between Atanarjuat and Oki, a malicious son of the leader of the tribe. The reason of the conflict that lies on the surface is matrimonial. A beautiful young woman, Atuat, who was promised to Oki, loves the good-natured Atanarjuat. But the real reason is the curse of a stranger. One night, Oki decides to take revenge on, he kills Amakwak. Fleeing for his life, Atanarjuat breaks free and runs across the tundra naked.
The marathon uh, across frozen Arctic plain is a stage in Atanarjoat's initiation, a process of growing a strong, powerful person. In a few years, Atanarjoat vested with strength and mysterious power given to him by a shaman comes back to his family. He banishes Oki, Oki's treacherous sister Puya, out of the community and becomes the leader of the tribe. Оки и Пуя, и вы тоже, Петюлак и Панак. Я всех вас нянчила с рождения. А теперь оставьте нас и никогда больше к нам не возвращайтесь. The approach of the Karius Kunuk to folklore material is rather creative. Being aware that the Inuit folklore has no heroic epic tales. The Harius Kunuk made a good use of an old Inuit story as the basis for the film and enriched it by a number of stories, an old legend of a stranger who brings ill luck to a community, a story of a poor man whose hardship is rewarded, a story of two little brothers, one of which was killed and the other one who is hiding under seaweeds, the story of a good wife and a bad wife. Archetypical plot in a story of a poor man whose hardship is rewarded and a story of a good wife and a bad treacherous wife can be found in many cultures. We might recall a number of similar plots in Russian and foreign fairy tales. A legend about a stranger that brings ill luck to the community is connected with the universal notion of strange, not belonging to us. Strange, unknown, difficult to comprehend. Strange, alien, dangerous, bringing ill luck, death. A story of two little brothers, one of which was killed, the other is hiding under seaweed, can be found in the film and is represented obviously in the scene of Oki and the gang killing Atanarjoat's elder brother and chasing him. We should also mention the use of magic power, that is, of very frequent occurrence. It seems to be a gently accepted way of solving any difficulty in the film. During the fight between Oki and Atanarjoat, the magic power helps him to win. It also helps him to escape from the chases during his cross along the frozen desert. The magic power given by a shaman makes him a leader of his community. The method chosen by Zacharius Kunuk allows him to present the world of the old Eskimo tradition as an entity. Events grow out of everyday objects, 
from the life cycle of the hunters of the Arctic tundra, principles of interpersonal communication, rituals, everyday skills, etiquette, all in place in the film. The two films, Nanook of the North and Atanasjot, represent two different ways of depicting northern communities, the outside Western approach and the inside interpretation. Thus, there are two different main causes of the plot, presentation of external material culture and inner spiritual culture. While uh, the film Nanook of the North is a perfect presentation of material culture of the North, the second film, Atanarjot, the Fast Runner, is a visual representation of spiritual, moral identity of the Northern people. In this film, we deal with the vision of the North in the context of the mythological folkloric interpretation. The two films present a contrast by camera movements. Nanook is static, eye-level camera angles, pan camera movement, when the camera moves horizontally on a fixed base, editing cuts when a scene ends and a new one begins. Atanarjot is dynamic, high angle, low angle, pen, tilt, boom camera movements, camera moves up and down horizontally through air. <laughs> 